Hello guys, uh, here is another little update today uh, with my friend uh, Jorge, George Sharkis. Okay, so today we are uh, going to replace the preload springs on the KTEC 20 DDS uh, closed cartridge system. Okay, so let's see how we are going to take out the cups, the valves, and replace the preload springs. Uh, since the bike uh, is gonna go to the truck in a few days, uh, we need harder, uh, harder preload springs. Okay, so let's see how we are gonna do that with my friend Jorge Sharkis. Okay, okay, Jorge. So uh, now the first step uh, we need to do is we need to release the preload on both forks. Yeah. Okay, so you can uh, yeah, start you doing that. Thing. Number 14, 14 millimeters. Okay. Okay. Done. Okay. So now. Uh, we need the special uh, tool from KTEC. Okay, so with this tool now, uh, we're gonna uh, release and lock the cups. Don't don't unscrew uh, completely. Just release it. Put some pressure at the beginning. Okay, just a, a few turns. Okay, I think now it's enough. As you seen here, we have already unscrewed the, the stabilizer. Yeah, yeah, because we can't uh, work otherwise. It's a little bit tricky on this side because yeah. what's next we don't want we don't want this part here to be too tight so the, uh, the upper triple clamp we need to uh, unscrew these nuts there Okay, I think okay. I suddenly lose. Okay, great. On. It's done. Okay. Yep. Okay. This point is good there. Okay. Okay, Jorge now is gonna uh, take out the top cup here using again the special tool from Cape Tech.
okay guys now after you unscrew the top cup uh, on each four okay uh, you need to lower the bike down okay and then we are gonna remove uh, the top cups here okay so uh, or here can you hold please okay you have to do it very slowly uh, the top cups will uh, go up okay now let's lower uh, the front wheel okay. Okay guys, now uh, we need to remove the top cup and take out the spring here. So we use the KTX tool from this side, not here, and we put it in there like this. 14 millimeter tool for the preload nut. Okay, now you just unscrew slowly slowly okay and let's hope that the cup is going to come out okay so ladies and gentlemen that's the top uh, four cup okay so you can uh, follow the same procedure once again for the right fork okay just do it very slowly and carefully okay uh, Jorge now that we have removed the top cap we need to remove the nylon, the nylon spring pusher here it's just a piece of plastic and at the same time main uh, preload spring we take it out okay just be careful uh, if there is too much oil uh, on the spring okay leave it dry uh, leave it get back into the tube otherwise uh, you will need to add oil okay okay i think it's fine let's have a look inside as far as you can this dog inside there <laughs> hello guys once again as you see inside here now i have a bit of light here you can see that the the folk from the inside I'm not sure how much you can see okay that's it and that's the screw we was holding with a special tool from KTEC actually okay uh, so for this bike we're gonna put the new springs uh, we're gonna do a mix here so one spring is gonna be in 10.5 newtons and the other spring is gonna be in 10 okay so Jorge let's go on and change the spring we have already removed the old one so let's put uh, the 10.5 here so uh, a clean spring you put it slowly slowly in Okay guys, now that we have put uh, the new preload, uh, the new preload spring here, Jorge is gonna use uh, the pull-up rod here. So Jorge put it in. Okay, now let me see here. 
Now over here we need the top cap. So we install the top cap. Uh, you screw it in. Okay, up to a point. So now over here you are gonna need the 14 millimeter tool. Uh, uh, give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> Hold the cam. Okay, okay, so let's go on. Now you need to tighten the cap using the preload nut here and the KTEX tool. So Okay, that's it over here. We take this out. So, guys, this one is ready now. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do the other one also and then lift the bike up and screw in the top cap. Okay, so let's repeat the same procedure on the right fork. Okay. 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 So let's. Okay. Can you hold it over here? Okay, so let's take out the cup. Over here, can you take it, please? Okay. Now, let's put the, the pull-up rod here. Again, this tool, you have it included with your KTEC 20 DDS fork kit. Okay. Spring pusher, you take it out. Okay. Can you hold her here? Now we take out the spring. Okay. That's great. So, if you look here, that's a 9.5 uh, spring rate uh, preload spring. Okay. So now we are going to change it to uh, 10 Newton uh, spring, okay, because as I said to you before, this bike will go to the track, so we need a uh, harder suspension, so now we put the spring, the new spring inside the chip, okay. 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 Now, after you put the spring, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the same things as before. So, Jorge holds the top cap, uh, the spring uh, washer here, and the pull-up rod. So you put the spring washer there. 
you screw in the pull up rod. You put the tool in, you unscrew the pull up rod. Okay, over here now we just put the cup, eh? Yep. Okay. Just screw it in with your hand after we move it to the tie then. Okay. okay, now we leave the tool here, we take the 14 millimeter tool, again the same as on the left side. Okay, that's it over here. Oh, that's it. We have changed to two new springs. Now, and now we need to lift the bike up and close the top cups. Okay. Now remember, when you close the top cups, uh, normally you need you need a torque range at 10 uh, newton meters. Okay, guys. Uh, now let's go to the last step. We need to lift the front ends up. You see here. Okay, now the front wheel is up. Now you have to screw in uh, the top cups. Okay, let's take the special tool here. So we finished from the right side. We got, we're moving to the left fork. We have to tie it in. We have to turn the inside as far as I know. So as far as I know, a friend of us from a team, he gave us a special tip actually. We don't have to fasten them too tight, those screws for the cup. So one, two, three, it's done. Thank you guys.